This is Tom Loy with Blue and Gold Illustrated out here with five-star offensive lineman Liam Eichenberg from uh, St. Ignatius in Cleveland. Uh, Liam, thanks for having me out here today, man. Good. Um, let's talk about, you know, you're, you're, like I said, you're a five-star, one of the best players in the entire country for 2016. You got offers from Notre Dame, Michigan, Ohio State, Florida State, a bunch of others, man. What's that feel like having so many big offers so early? Uh, it's definitely special. Uh, I'm just excited because my parents are proud of me. Right. Stuff like that. Uh, but there's a lot of pressure too. Got always got to please everyone. <laughs> but uh, that's about it. Okay. Um, you're six and two, I think, this year so far. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk about how your season's going and how you guys are doing here uh, at San Ignatius. Uh, going into the season, I thought we were gonna have a tough year. Looking at the schedule, playing like Paramus and stuff. Right. The uh, the game that really turned us around or like got us thinking that we can win against anybody is probably the Paramus game. We were okay. up like 28 to 10, fourth quarter, and then they just came back and we sort of just blew it. But uh, we had a big win over Moeller, which no one really expected, expected of us, but uh, it's going well. I uh, In minicamp, I injured my knee. Right. I tore up a lot of cartilage and stuff. I mm -hmm. have a uh, tear in my meniscus or something like that. So uh, I'm, I've been playing with a bad knee the whole season. Right. So uh, that's it's, it's affected me. I've I get angry at myself, sort of, because I can't move as well, and I know I can do better if I had a better knee. But uh, I'm going to get surgery after the season. I'll be out for, like, six weeks. Okay. So that's about it. Your coach actually said that to us before. Mm -hmm. We were just kind of talking here and said that you've been able to improve other parts of your game yeah. because you didn't have your best. You know, you weren't at your best. You had a bad knee. Mm -hmm. But kind of talk about that, being able to kind of expand your game a little bit. I, Because uh, my bad knee, I... I'm not really able to get the outside as much as I should be, okay. but uh, I've sort of been focusing on getting the inside position and getting the inside. But uh, my pass protection is doing fine. I'm better at pass protection than run blocking, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes my knee will give out and stuff, and I just got to not think about it and just go back and play. Just and play. You obviously you're one of the best players in the country, and you you do a lot of things right, especially on film when you when you turn the tape on. But where do you think you've grown um, on the field as much from your sophomore to your junior season at this point? Uh, mainly my run blocking. My run blocking last year it was. I understand now that I have to finish guys. Last year I just sort of figured that I'd just do the job. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've taken it more uh, with a passion this okay, year for run good. blocking. You've been on, let's talk, t touching your recruitment a little bit, you, you've been on Notre Dame's campus a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of, what did that offer mean to you when you first picked up the offer from the Irish? Uh, I went down there with my, grand, with my grandpa, my dad, and my brother, and a friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, after camp, Coach uh, Kelly called us over, and when he told me that uh, I received the first offer for 2016, my grandpa started crying. And uh, that was really special, because he... Uh, He's been waiting for like college stuff to happen like that, and uh, it, it was really important. It was really important. And then seeing that Jimmy Byrne went there, yeah, and I was excited to take a look at Notre Dame, see what they have to offer. What? Why? Why was he? Was it just because of the fact that you had an offer from Notre Dame, or is there? Is your? Does your grandfather like Notre Dame? Is I there a connection there? I think it's because of the tradition. Okay. And he's seen Notre Dame play, and he uh, met all the coaches and stuff, and. He he uh, he thought it was a lot like Ignatius, which okay. I did too. Okay. Um, what I mean, obviously, the, there is a connection there. It is similar to Ignatius, but what else appeals to you about Notre Dame as a whole? Uh, the academics, pretty much. I I can't get over that I have a four out of Notre Dame, one of the best colleges <laughs> in the nation for academics too. And uh, I feel like if I go to Notre Dame, it'll set me up like even when football ends and stuff. I'll have, a, I'll have a good life after. Uh, Harry Heaston, the offensive line coach at Notre Dame, played a pretty big role in Jimmy Byrne, your former yeah, teammate, yeah. and his decision to go to Notre Dame mm -hmm. and playing for him and mm -hmm. being his primary recruiter. What's your relationship like with, with Coach Heaston at this point? Uh, I call Coach Heaston pretty much every week. He uh, he just says the same old stuff that uh, we want you. He'll be a perfect fit. And he, uh, he pretty much talks about how he understands that he has a lot of offensive linemen commits. Mm -hmm. And he says that it doesn't matter how many offensive uh, linemen we have, you'll play with the work ethic and the toughness you have. And uh, I think he understands my potential and what I can do on the field and stuff. You camped at Notre Dame and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, in a sense, played for him over that couple mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. um, when you were there. And I know you were there for the Irish invasion to at least kind of watch how he, mm -hmm. watch his technique with coaching. But what is his style, you know, and, and does it appeal to you? I think he's more laid back. Like, he, uh, he'll tell you once, but... If you keep on messing up, we get more intense. 
but uh, he, he's not like, he doesn't get up in your face and start screaming at you and stuff. He wants you to do it uh, right as much as uh, he wants you to, or you want to. Yeah, because yeah, everybody thinks he's pretty intense, yeah, but he's yeah. really more laid yeah, back he's and sort of more laid of back. a technician, yeah, yeah. it seems. Um, with Byrne going there and currently being a freshman on the team so far, does that play a factor on your decision? Have you guys communicated and just, you know, is Notre Dame everything you thought it was going to be? Do you guys ever have talks like that? Uh, he sort of, Jim doesn't really, Jim wants me to come there, but he, he understands wherever I decide to go, it's for, for me. But uh, I don't know, I, I understand why he picked Notre Dame, stuff like that, but uh, I don't really know. Okay. Do you have a leader at this point, and you have some really big offers? Is there anybody standing out, or a couple standing out at this point above the rest? Uh, Notre Dame, Ohio State. Uh, I like Michigan, but after I, I feel like their coaching staff just gonna get wiped out. Okay. So yeah. uh, I, I really haven't been uh, thinking of them, but I, I love to take a look at Michigan State. They've been uh, talking to me and uh, emailing me stuff like that. You told me a while back that that. And you were very upfront about it that mm -hmm. staying somewhat local is important yeah, to you. Is that yeah. still the case? Yeah, because uh, my grandpa he can't fly oh, okay. because of uh, he has uh, blood clots in his lungs and stuff like that, and he can't sit for a long time. So I'm definitely gonna stay close, or somewhat close. Okay, I'm sure you saw uh, Notre Dame picked up its first 2016 commitment from Tommy yeah, Kramer, Tommy a guy Kramer. you've gotten to know a little bit. Yeah. Um, just he said, you know, when I when I spoke to him, um, you know, about his commitment, he said. I'm gonna. I'm, my my two guys are Malik Henry, uh, the 2016 five-star yeah, quarterback yeah. from out west, and then Liam Eikenberg. Um, mm -hmm. So, have you guys communicated much since he jumped on board? Uh, right after your committee, he's, he uh, he DM'd me on Twitter. I don't, I don't have his phone number because okay. it's just like Twitter and stuff. But uh, we talk a lot, and he told me that like he stands the best. He's the best at what he does, best in college, and he really wants me to uh, be part of the part of the Irish. Does that appeal to you, possibly playing with somebody, another high-profile guy like yourself, uh, and just kind of, or do, or do you want to just go and be the guy somewhere? I uh, I think about it as what's gonna when I get in college, what's gonna help the team, and with me being with another like amazing lineman like him, that'll help our offensive line insanely. Okay. Um, your uh, Notre Dame is six and one at this point. Mm -hmm. Just you know had a mm -hmm. tough loss to Florida mm -hmm. State. What are your impressions of the team as a whole so far in, in whatever you've been able to watch of the Irish this year? I actually haven't been able to watch oh, any really? games. <laughs> no games at all. Because okay. of my schedule, because we play them like, the same exact days. And all there is is the Big Ten uh, Big Ten network at my house. Okay. So uh, I haven't really been able to see them play, but I uh, heard the Florida State game was a really good game. It's pretty. wish I could have seen it. Definitely pretty wild. You're busy playing your own yeah. game. Um, when do you plan on getting back to South Bend for another visit? Um, I'll probably... Go back down after the season. After that, I I can't make any games. Right. I looked at all the schedules. I really want to make a game, okay. but uh, I can't make it. When you've been up there and you get a chance to sit down and talk to you know Brian mm -hmm. Kelly, the head coach up there, mm -hmm. what's his pitch to you? And is it any different from any of the other head coaches out there? Is it? Uh, when I went up to Notre Dame, I sat down. I didn't really talk to Coach Kelly for that long. I talked to him for like five minutes, okay. and uh, he pretty much told me about like how my life will be after football, stuff like that. He didn't really sell me on like NFL like Michigan did. Mm -hmm. Ohio State sold me on their like they're trying to sell me on their connections and stuff that Urban Meyer has. And uh he just he's trying to sell me on like how my life will be after football. Okay. Uh you told me a funny story, something about um when you I think you were after the Irish invasion, your dad made a purchase that kind of surprised you oh, or yeah. something. He uh he uh finally bought a hat from a college and that was uh Notre Dame. He didn't buy an Ohio State hat or a Michigan hat. Okay. Only, only Notre Dame. All right. Does he, does, what, what's your family's take? Do they kind of feel better about a certain school, or are they kind of get, sharing their input, or I, uh, are they pretty open to what you want? I asked my dad and my mom, uh, what college you want me to go to, and they say the same thing. They're like, it's your decision. I force you to go to a certain high school so you can decide what college you want to go to. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you mentioned Ohio State as another school that's in the mix. Um, uh, similar to what I asked you about BK, but what's Urban Meyer's pitch, and, and, and what's your relationship like with that whole staff up in Columbus? Um, up in Columbus, I haven't really, I haven't really gone down for a, like a visit or unofficial visit. I haven't seen the campus or anything. Okay. I've just been down there at camp and stuff like that. But uh, I think Urban Meyer's a good guy. I like uh, uh, Stan Drayton, the running yeah. back coach. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a good guy too. He's pretty popular. Yeah, he is. He is. But uh, he's trying to tell me, like, he told me about how they have a specific day of the week 
where they do like business stuff or something mm-hmm. like that. It's a, uh, I forget what it's called, like a real day or something like that. And they uh, they go work for like a certain company or something. Oh, okay. And uh, he talked to me about that and it was pretty much about like how, because he was talking to me about how down in Florida, they, uh, they had all this money and none of it was like after they won the national championship and stuff and none of it was really going to the players or anything. Mm-hmm. So he decided to make like a, uh, I think it's on Wednesdays, and uh, every Wednesday they like go and talk to like uh, companies and stuff and like get internships and stuff like that. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, and then regarding your decision, um, I know we, I think you mentioned something before, but what's the latest and uh, when do you want to kind of narrow things down and actually make a decision? Uh, I definitely want to make a decision before my senior year. I also want to take my official visits to because I haven't seen Ohio State's campus or anything. I've seen pretty much the only, like, not official, but like I've seen everything is Notre Dame. Okay. I haven't really seen Michigan's campus at all. I've just camped at Michigan and Ohio State. So, that's about so it. you'd probably say that those four are the schools that you definitely want to visit between Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio yeah. State, Notre Dame yeah. again. Yeah. Okay. And then what about an All-American game? Have you committed to any of them yet? Uh, I committed to the Under Armour All-American game. Okay. Like How, last year. How's that feel, man? That's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a big deal. My uh, teammate, Jeremiah Jones, uh, just yep. got invited. And uh, he's looking forward to it. And they uh, they invited me down to like watch it, I think, this year. It's okay. like an Elite 50 invite or something, and they pay for everything. But there's a camp like during that for my grade, but uh, I'll obviously have knee surgery, so I don't think I'll be able to make it. Go and kind of just watch it a little bit. Yeah. All right, for a five-star O-line, Liam Eikenberg, I'm Tom Loy. Stay tuned to BloomGold.com for all the latest in Notre Dame football recruiting coverage. And again, Liam, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. you having me out. Yeah.